it would be so embarrassing for a Muslim to have a debate with an atheist where the atheist understands the Quran better than the Muslim and then undermines it. That would be like the total TKO, total defeat of the Muslim by the atheist. Yet this is exactly what is happening in the debates between atheists and theists when it comes to Darwinism. Atheists do not even understand what they're supposed to be defending. If you watch these debates, and you can check it out for yourself, watch a debate between an atheist and a theist. They're going to be debating about, well, the atheist is going to be putting forward the case, this species is similar to this. This gene is similar to that. Well, well done. We knew things were similar before Darwin. What have you achieved? Darwin, Darwinian evolution is all about natural selection. That's what you need to defend. You need to defend that variation, inheritance, selection, time. That natural selection is the driving force of evolution. This species can transform into a totally different species. That is the Darwinian mechanism. It's not about similarities. Similarities go back at least 3,000 years ago. We have the Padma Purana speaking about different species being similar to each other and, you know, common ancestry. We have these ideas going back a long time. We even have a taxonomy by Carl Linnaeus in which he's a creationist, by the way, who, who uh, I think around 1800 sometime, he wrote a whole ta taxonomy of this thing looks similar to this, this thing looks similar to that, but he didn't infer universal common ancestry. Remember, Darwinism, and this is very important, it's about transformation. That's why the idea of universal common ancestry and common ancestry took off after Darwin, because he provided a mechanism. You cannot just separate the history from the mechanism and point out to similarities. And this is really embarrassing. Come on, guys, atheists, this is really embarrassing that I have to point out to you what Darwinism is and then refute it. And if you watch the debates, and I've had many debates online, offline with atheists, instead of defending natural selection, they're defending things are similar. Well, duh, of course things are similar. Things are similar is not up for debate. What's up for debate is, is natural selection their driving force is natural selection sufficient. And you know what's funny when you speak about natural selection? They also say, yeah, but there's other things. There's genetic drift. There is niche construction. There is sexual selection. Well, that's fine. But natural selection is still supposed to be their driving force. And funnily enough, I mean, if, if, if I want to defend the Quran, then I need to defend the Quran. I need to be, I need to be clear. I believe the Quran to be the word of God. I believe this was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and I'm going to defend it. I want atheists to have the same integrity. Say, yes, we understand what the origin of species is about. It's about natural selection. We're going to defend it. Don't do this half-hearted attempt of trying to use the vagueness of the term Darwinism to just defend common ancestry, which was known before. Come on. You, you, if, if you want to have these debates and you actually... Uh, you know, you, you really want to project your worldview, you actually, on the minimum, have to represent what it is and try and defend it. Not defend something which doesn't need defense. I hope through this video and other uh, things on this channel that at least the people on this channel will understand the main issue with Darwinism is to do with the mechanism, not the actual history.